Get her done! It's all treated weed, right? Yeah. Weed. Want you all to know that I just climbed on top of this irrigation to get that shot. That is dedication. Guys and gals, it's great to see you. My name is Brian Holthouse. I make videos from the outdoors, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to plant wheat, and more specifically, how to plant spring wheat. And if this is your first time on my channel, consider subscribing. I make freaking sweet videos from the outdoors. So to get started on how to plant spring wheat, we're gonna first go grab the cultivator, we're gonna hook up, we're gonna go work the ground, and then we're gonna let it dry out the rest of the day today. It's still pretty wet, it's very early in the spring. And, and then tomorrow we'll grab the planter and we'll start planting, so stay with us, it's gonna be good. Alright guys and gals, so these hydraulics I'm going to hook up here are, um, these two are going to run up and down on the cultivator, it's going to raise, her, raise it and lower it, and these two are actually going to expand and retract the wings we call it, for the cultivator, so I'm going to plug in the hydraulic to the tractor here. So we got the cultivator out in the field now, and I'm gonna show you just the front here. And as you can see, the shovels, which is right there and here, and I know they're full of dirt, but they run all the way across there, and they run to the back. And what those shovels are gonna do is they're gonna turn up the dirt, and they're gonna create a seed bed. And that seed bed is very important because when you plant that seed, you're gonna have even emergence with a nice seed bed. And as we move to the back, of this cultivator, you can see right there. This is called a harrow. And what that harrow is gonna do is it's gonna break up any clumps and it's gonna help flatten the ground so it's completely flat. And that's exactly what this roller does as well. That roller is a real ticket. That gets it looking really pretty, nice and flat. So, and after we get this whole field cultivated, we're gonna let it dry probably the rest of the day today and come in here tomorrow morning and start planting our wheat. So stay tuned. All right guys and gals, so we let that field dry off the rest of yesterday and we woke up today and we got a, you know, a dusting of snow and it went from 60 degrees and sunny to 30 degrees cloudy, uh, windy and damp and snowing. And I swear only in Minnesota the weather could change like that overnight. But we're still gonna get out and plant this afternoon. It's supposed, the sun's supposed to come out, the wind's supposed to pick up. Things should dry out enough where we can still plant that wheat. So stay tuned. 
I'm over by the no-till drill right now, and as you can see, my dad, Bill, is just filling up the hopper on it, and all of our seed comes from this gravity box and pull, and it runs up this auger right here, and then boom, it gets unloaded into the hopper of the no-till drill. And we're running a 1560 John Deere no-till drill, and uh, this drill has been really good for us. We can uh, we can do what we're doing now, plant wheat with it. We can drill in beans over corn stalks when we no-till. And uh, it's just a very good piece of equipment that we've had on our farm for a while now. And so we're gonna try to put on two bushels per acre. And uh, this drill holds right around 53 bushels. And I get a lot of questions, what is a bushel, right? And one bushel is, this is a bushel basket. And we put wheat in it. And as you can see, it comes up to like right, right around here. And that is one bushel. That is a measurement of one bushel. And it's all based on weight. So that's your one bushel. So two of those per acre is what we were planning. So Bill's up here filling up. I'll show you real quick what he's doing. Get her done. It's all treated wheat, right? Yeah. yeah. Wheat. All right, so we're gonna get this filled up and then I'll run over to the front and we'll talk briefly about how, the, how it actually works, the no-till drill itself, and then we're gonna get out and start planting some wheat. So stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. All right, so let's talk about the functionality of the no-till drill itself. And we just filled up this hopper up here I showed you, which is right up here. And so what happens is, is the seed comes down from this hopper, comes down into here, which is like a coupling, and the seed is actually gonna get dropped down this tube. It's gonna come down this other tube, and it's gonna go down way down in here to a boot at the very bottom. If you can see my hand, down here. And right here is the amount of seed getting put on. So if I open this this way, it's gonna be more bushels per acre is gonna be planted for seeds. If I go this way, it's gonna be less bushels per acre. And um, what makes this like a no-till drill though is right here in the center is this is gonna put pressure down on the drill as I plant. And as you can see, like in the green here would be a little less pressure. If I get up to yellow, it would be way more pressure. And then red is a ton of pressure. And you know, we're doing what's called conventional wheat planting today. And what that means is like we showed earlier, we cultivated the ground and then now we're gonna come back and plant with our drill. So we don't need a ton of pressure because that seed bed's already there. Now, if we were gonna do no-till drilling over corn like we're gonna do here in a couple weeks, we're gonna need to use a lot more downward pressure because that ground is gonna be much harder for the seed to get put into it. So, all right, that's just a quick overview. Uh, there is way more to cover on it, but that's just the gist of it. And we're gonna go plant some, uh, some wheat right now. So let's go. Get her done. want you all to know that I just climbed on top of this irrigation to get that shot. That is dedication. Start slowing down a little bit. I'm gonna raise it up back there. Raised up, make a nice wide turn. And 
engage the GPS on a straight path, slow down and drop it down. Should we get to go? Speed it up. All right, guys and gals, you know, I probably got another probably three hours of this, so probably not going to show any more. Um, you know, I will show footage, though, of us combining this wheat, you know, this late summer, mid to late summer, and uh, bailing some straw, so something to look forward to. So really hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said earlier, you know, subscribe if you like videos from the outdoors, and, uh, you know, I will see you soon. Take care. Boom! Boom!